This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from opentuition.com. Let's now look at how things change if we begin to look at your cash settled share based payments as opposed to your equity settled share based payments. And there's two key things to consider, aren't there? First of all, is the fact that now we need to record a liability because we're building up the obligation to pay cash at the end of the vesting period. And then secondly, we need to think about the fair value of the services. And uh, that is based, isn't it, upon the fair value of uh, the services at each reporting date. OK, so you need to update the fair value at each reporting date. Unlike equity settled, whereby we took the fair value at the grant date and did not change it. OK, so let's go through, have a look at a couple of examples. Uh, it says prepare the extract to be shown again in the statement of profit or loss in the statement of financial position again for three years to this from December 15 to December 2017. Uh, so what you've got here with Gouda, uh, we have here 10,000 cash settled share based payments, 20 directors. Uh, so the grant date is the 1st of January 2015. Uh, the options vest December 17, so is that three years? And again, keeping it really simple, none of the directors will leave. We'll, we will deal with the changes in employee numbers afterwards. Uh, the fair value of the option, so that's important now, isn't it? As it is cash settled, we ignore the fair value at the grant date and we look at the fair value at each reporting date, so $13.50. $13.80 and $14.20. So what we've got there is that if we think about the statement of financial position, remember on the SFP, we are looking to record a liability and a liability for the next three years is 15, 16 and is it 17? We then need to think about the statement of profit or loss, don't we? Whereby we record the movement. And that movement usually results in an expense, isn't it? Okay. So, uh, what have we got? Well, in year one, uh, the fair value is there. Is it as thirteen fifty, ten thousand, and twenty directors? So here, it's ten thousand cash settled share based payments. Fair value is thirteen fifty. There are twenty directors, and we're at the end of year one out of three, aren't we? Does that give me there? Is that nine hundred thousand dollars as a liability? The first year of any scheme is never very exciting because you have the expenses the same as what the liability figure is because we've started everything from zero, haven't we? Uh, year two, it gets a little bit more interesting, doesn't it? Because now the fair value at that second reporting date is $13.80. So what you've got there, 10,000 cash settled share based payments, $13.80. 20 directors, remember, nothing changes with regards to the number of directors leaving. Uh, does that go through there and give me 1.84 million dollars? Uh, remember, what we need to go through and do there is we need to look at the movement. It's the movement that goes to the statement of profit or loss. And that movement that you have there, is it $940,000? Okay, excellent. Third and final year, fair value is at $14.20. So here we are there, 10,000 multiplied by $14.20. Multiplied by 20 directors. You can multiply by 3 over 3 if you want, but I'm not too worried. Uh, that gives me a liability at the end of that third and final year as 2840,000. 
Uh, and you've got there the movement from 2016 to 2017 is that there as 1 million, isn't it? Okay, there we go. So when the examiner examines this numerically, which is usually seen then in question number one, isn't it? Uh, whether it's a group position statement or a group performance statement, you usually are not looking at the first year. Yeah, you need to look at the statement of finance position at the second year or maybe even the third year. If you're looking at the second year, you need to look at the movement from year two from year one. If you're looking at the third year, you need to look at it from the third year from year two. OK, there will always be two calculations that will be required. The current year and the prior year. There we go. Excellent. Uh, there's another example, isn't there, uh, for us to go through there and work out. Uh, is it there? Example number five. Uh, so it says there, prepare the extract to be shown in the statement of profit or loss once again. And the statement of financial position for two years, December 14, and is it December 15? Again, what you see here is whereby the previous example had no changes in the number of directors. This one will. OK, so here we granted 20,000 share appreciation rights to 10 of its directors. Uh, the conditions are that the directors must remain for three years. And the fair value at the first reporting date is 80 and it is 75 at that second reporting date, isn't it? Again, same pretty much scenario as one of the earlier examples. Four directors leave in scenario one, i.e. four directors are expected to leave by the end of the year after the first year. And then here, change it up ever so slightly. It's two directors we expect to have left. Uh, by the end of the vesting period okay so here once again we will put in the statement of financial position we will look there at a liability and then on the statement of profit or loss we will have our expense and we're looking for two years is it 2014 and is it 2015 Uh, once we've got that, we are away, aren't we? Okay, so I think it was, if memory serves me right, 20,000. Was it share appreciation rights? Uh, $80 was the fair value. We started off with 10. We expect four to leave. So we expect there to be six at the end of the three-year period. So 20,000 times 80 times by 6 divided by 3 is the as is that 3.2 million dollars. Uh, again, not very exciting in year 1 because it is therefore the same figure that is the expense as we've started the scheme from 0. Okay, we've gone from 0 to 3.2 million, haven't we? Excellent. Second year gets a little bit more exciting, doesn't it? Because we now have a change in the fair value at the reporting date. It's now 75 and we expect two directors to have left. So here it's 20,000. Squeeze that down a little bit further so I've got more space. 20,000 multiplied by 75. Multiplied by 10 less than 2. And remember, we are at the end of a two year uh, period out of a full three year vesting period. Does that give me there? Is that in year two? Is that 8 million dollars? Yes, a lot of zeros. Six of them give me 8. Key bit, once again, I, I can't say it enough, is that the figure that goes in the statement of profit or loss looks at the movement, isn't it? Movement, movement, movement. Uh, and what you've got there is that the movement is the $4.8 million. There we go.
excellent. That's pretty much everything that you need to know in terms of the basics and the essentials going through there and looking at your cash settled share-based payments.